Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Well, we're using the Divi video module today. It's got this great inbuilt video module, but we're going to be using a plugin called Divi Supreme Modules, which is one of my favorite Divi plugins. It is a premium plugin and we've used it before to pop up videos from buttons. Today, we're going to create a flip box that's got a button that we can pop up a video from. Really easy to do, so let's get started. As I mentioned earlier, we're using Divi Supreme modules for this today. And you will need the Pro version. And if you go to your dashboard down to Divi Supreme Pro, once you have it installed, you need to go to the general settings make sure that enable Divi pop-up switch is set to on. If it's not set to on, this will not work today. Once you've done that, you can get started. So let's enable the Visual Builder. Okay, I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna delete this little video module and we'll start again. I'm gonna hit the little button to add a new module. Divi comes with the light gray modules here. When you install Divi Supreme Pro, you get 40 of these dark blue modules here. And they're awesome. But what I'm gonna do first is create a video that we actually want to pop up. So I'm just gonna use a regular Divi video module for that right at the bottom there. I'm gonna simply go and grab a YouTube video URL. Okay, I've got one. I'm gonna get rid of their video. I'm gonna add a video. I'm gonna add from URL, I'm going to pop in my YouTube URL there, and there it is, and I'm going to insert it into the post, and there it is. Now what I need to do now is save this to my library so I can use it as a pop-up. To do that, go up to the little round icon that's just to the left of the trash can there, click it, and we'll save it to our library. And let's call it pop up video. I guess I could separate that. And let's save it to the library. Okay, now it's saved to our library. We can trash it because we don't need this on our page anymore. We're going to make it pop up from the library when we want it. Okay, well, let's create a flip card like we've got over to the left there using Supreme Modules. Going to hit the little button. I'm going to go down to the blue modules here, Supreme Flip Card I'm looking for today. There it is, Flip Box. I'm going to add an item. Let's just move this over here. Now I'm not going to spend much time styling or anything like that. Let's go down, we'll put in a background. I'm going to put in a color. And let's throw in an image and blend the two. A bit of drama there. I can use that same image. And another great feature of Divi, if you put in an image, if you're not using the parallax, you can blend it with a color. We put that purple in there. Let's multiply it. And there's all kinds of different effects you can use for that. Now I can't see my writing very well, so I'm going to go over to design, text. I'm going to pop it in the middle. I'm going to change it from dark to light. And let's just put a bit of padding all around. So I can close up text, go down to spacing. I'm gonna give it 20 pixels all around. Just put in the 20, it'll put in the pixels for you. Hit the chain, it'll do the opposite side. And we'll do the same for left and right. Great, so that's one side. I don't wanna add a button on, on the first side there. So I'm quite happy with that. Let's just save that. It'll take us back to the main flip box again. Let's duplicate it for the second side and we'll just change the color and the image so we can discern which is a which. Use a blue now, pop a different image in for this one. There we go. And on the flip side here, we're going to add a button. So to do that, I'm going to go into button right here. 
what you want your button to say, obviously. I'm just going to put a hashtag in there. Once I put something in there, the button will actually show up. There it is right there. Let's just style that button a bit more so we can see it. I'm going to go to design. I'm going to go to button. Use custom styles. And at the moment, not too bad. Let's just change that text to white. that's fine okay now for the fun bit we've got to make that button rather than link to a URL we want it to pop up the video so let's just save this and because we saved that video to our library we haven't refreshed the page I'm going to save everything here save draft I'm going to refresh the page so that that item shows up in our library so I'm going to refresh the page. Now for our next step, you want to make sure you did this that I mentioned earlier. Go down to your dashboard, Divi Supreme Pro, general settings. Make sure enable Divi pop-ups on. If you don't do this, this will not work. Okay, hopefully our page is refreshed now. Let's go back in here. Little cog. We've got our pop-up enabled. So I'm going to go over to the advanced tab and this will work with any module this pop up once you've got it enabled and it's always in the advanced tab go down to visibility if we roll down a little bit you'll see there's now a switch that says users pop up if you hadn't enabled this here that switch would not appear so I'm going to flip this to on I want to pop out a layout you can actually pop out videos, images, and iframes also. But I've saved mine as a layout. It's in my library. It's called Pop Up Video. There it is. I want it to trigger on the module click. Well, no, I don't. Actually, I just want it to, to trigger on the button click when they hit this button, not on the actual module. So let's change this to button. And if I do that again, you'll see you can trigger it from modules, button, images, hyperlinks, page load, scroll, exit intent. Anybody who doesn't know, exit intent when people put their mouse up to get out of your page. You can trigger it to pop up there, and I'm sure you've seen that on sales site. Okay, so we've got it popping up the video. It's on the button. We're going to have a closed trigger outside the pop-up. That's fine. A little X will be up here. Don't want to auto close the pop up. It's got a great feature where you can close it after a certain amount of time. If you switch that on, you can close it after 10 seconds or a minute or whatever you want. All kind of different animations for fading in and fading out. I'm going to leave mine just as it is with the generics right there. Pop up position. Yeah, I want it in the center of the screen. I want it to be absolutely positioned so it stays where it is if they try and scroll the screen. Don't want to use it full width, that's a brilliant feature, but if you use full width, it covers up the menu and footer, and it's great for full width notifications, but not for what we're doing today. Pop up max width, I'm going to leave it on the generic, which is 680, it works for me on, on most situations. If you want to, you can hit the little mobile phone type icon there, and this is common to most Divi modules, and you can set different sizes for desktop, tablet, and phone. But I'm just going to leave mine as is. Like I say, it seems to work well for me. Show overlay. Yep, that's that background color that covers up the website a little bit to focus on the pop up. Choose your color there. I'm going to leave mine on the generic. I want to show the close button so they can close it. And also, I want them to be able to click outside and close it, which we did earlier. Choose your font and your font size down here. We should be good to go. There's the button background color if you want to change it for your close button and the icon color. So let's save what we've got here. Save our page changes. And exit the Visual Builder. Okay, well there's our little flip box. When I hover over it, it's going to flip. As you can see, the arrows, the cursor is just an arrow, so there's nothing to click either on the front or the back. 
When I hover over the button, it changes into a hand where it says watch video. And there's our video pop up. And that's a nice little feature to have on your site. Hi guys, and welcome to another demo video. And you can just click outside of close. There is a little X as well. And we're back where we were. And like I say, that'll work with any module. I've done exactly the same thing here with a button to pop out a video. There's the little close out button. So there's how to add a flip box with pop out video. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. Once again, we've been using the premium plugin Divi Supreme modules. You'll find the link below the video. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.